Welcome back. Today, we're not just talking about another internet outage or a few apps going down. We're talking about the deeper fracture forming beneath the digital world we've built. Because what's happening right now isn't just a random glitch in the system. It's a warning, one that could mark the beginning of a fundamental shift in how the internet itself functions. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult a professional before making any investment decisions. We've built our world on convenience, our communication, our banks, our businesses, everything tied to a small handful of massive data centers, a few server clusters in Virginia, a maintenance issue in a Google or Amazon facility, and suddenly the entire web shutters. It's no longer just a technical inconvenience. It's a global vulnerability. Think about it. In an age where every second of downtime costs millions, our entire digital infrastructure depends on a few centralized cloud providers. When these giants experience outages, it doesn't just slow down a few websites. It brings modern life to a standstill. Apps like Snapchat, Slack, and Reddit have all gone dark because of it. We're talking about single points of failure that could be exploited or collapse on their own. And while many people brush it off as just another outage, what's unfolding now is far more severe. Because this time, it's not just about more users logging in, it's about artificial intelligence. AI has officially gone mainstream, and with it comes an explosion in computing demand like nothing we've ever seen before. AI models don't just need powerful processors, they devour them. They consume astronomical amounts of data and computational energy. Our current internet architecture, designed decades ago, simply wasn't built for this level of strain. Experts are already warning. As AI continues to scale, cloud infrastructure will begin to buckle more often. Outages won't just happen occasionally, they'll become routine. Imagine a near future filled with thousands of AI agents, all operating at machine speed, all competing for limited bandwidth and computational resources. It's like forcing a tsunami through a garden hose. The infrastructure wasn't made for this level of throughput. The results, lag, breakdowns, degraded performance, and eventually catastrophic crashes that ripple across industries. And here's the thing. This problem isn't purely technical, it's economic. Every minute a major platform goes offline, millions of dollars vanish into thin air. Businesses lose customers, productivity collapses, and trust erodes. Our economy, the global digital economy, is running on fragile, outdated systems. But what if there was another way? What if we could rebuild the very foundation of the internet so it could never crash? An internet that could adapt, self-heal, and operate independently from any single corporation or server. That's exactly what the internet computer, developed by the Definity Foundation, is setting out to achieve. Unlike traditional blockchains or centralized servers, the Internet Computer, or ICP, represents an entirely new architecture for the web. Think of it as a world computer, where applications don't live on Amazon, Microsoft, or Google's servers. Instead, they operate directly across a network of decentralized, independent data centers. If one data center fails, the others instantly take over. No downtime, no interruptions, no waiting for engineers to reboot servers, the network simply routes around the problem, maintaining smooth, uninterrupted operation. This is true decentralization. No middlemen, no dependencies, and no single choke point that can bring everything down. ICP doesn't need the cloud. It is the cloud. This shift represents more than just technological progress. It's about freedom, resilience, and sovereignty. A web that can't be censored, hacked, or held hostage by any single entity. ICP's infrastructure is powerful enough to even host AI models directly on-chain, creating a completely decentralized AI ecosystem, one that's transparent, autonomous, and resistant to manipulation. That's not science fiction. It's happening right now. Now, let's talk about what this means for you and for the future of the global economy. We're at the edge of a massive reconfiguration of how the internet and digital services operate. Analysts are projecting that decentralized computing and storage could become a multi-trillion dollar industry within the next decade. Companies are waking up to the dangers of relying on centralized providers. 
they're realizing that a single outage could cost them not just money, but their reputation. That's why more and more developers, institutions, and innovators are turning to decentralized systems like ICP. It's not just a backup option, it's the inevitable next step. Because as artificial intelligence continues to expand, demanding exponentially more data, storage, and uptime, the cracks in the old model will only grow wider. The centralized internet, as we know it, simply won't be able to keep up. ICP isn't years away from solving this, it's already light years ahead of traditional systems. It offers the architecture of the future, one where infrastructure and intelligence are both distributed and self-sustaining. For investors and innovators, this represents the kind of rare window that only appears once every few decades. Think of the early days of Amazon or Google, when only a few people truly understood what they were building. Those who recognized the shift early reaped unimaginable rewards. That's the scale of opportunity we're looking at here, a complete replatforming of the digital world with ICP at its foundation. So, what can you do about it right now? First, educate yourself. Head to the Definity Foundation's website, dive into the technology, the mission, and the white papers, see how this system actually works under the hood. Don't just take anyone's word for it, verify it for yourself. Second, explore the ecosystem. The internet computer already hosts hundreds of decentralized applications, ranging from social media platforms to financial tools. These are not test projects or prototypes. They're real, functioning applications that showcase what decentralized computing can truly achieve. And third, consider your position. The ICP token powers the network. It's used for governance, computation, and ecosystem participation. You can find it on major exchanges, but more importantly, you should understand what it represents. It's not just another cryptocurrency, it's a stake in the future backbone of the internet. Everything that's happening right now, from AI's insatiable demand for computing power to the recurring failures of cloud infrastructure, points toward one truth. The centralized web has reached its breaking point. The question isn't if we'll move toward decentralized architecture, it's when. And when that transition happens, the internet computer will already be standing at the forefront, ready to redefine what the internet can be. While others panic during the next big outage, while headlines scream about data failures and downtime, you'll understand what's really happening. The old system is falling apart, and a new one is taking its place. ICP isn't just part of that change, it is the change. And those who see it now, who learn, explore, and position themselves early will be the ones who benefit most when the world finally wakes up. So, what do you think about ICP's current position? Are you bullish on its growth in AI and DeFi? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found value in this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns like this. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay cautious, and I'll catch you in the next one.